Welcome back and we're continuing our look at NAS apps available for iOS and Android and we're moving back to the guys at Synology to look at their photo station application and of course it is worth mentioning this isn't the only photo handling application from the guys at Synology there is of course Synology moments there but we will leave that for another video because a number of you out there will always fall back on DS photo it's kind of the go-to app at this time so we'll go into DS photo here We'll log into our NAS, same one we've been using till previously, uh, you know, the whole time, DS118. And straight away, I've uploaded a bunch of albums onto the NAS, just to give you some idea about what you see. So this is the original interface um, of the NAS from the app. And again, if you've got lots of different albums, they'll all be displayed. But for now, I just chucked on a few random albums from another NAS. So straight away, we can change the view. We can go from timeline view to map view to thumbnail view. If we go to map mode, we'll be able to see if any of these photos have had geotagging enabled. And only the two of them have, sadly. Uh, we've got some that have been taken down there on the coast of England, and some of them there right on the other side, back there in Ireland. Uh, some time that was spent there last year, in fact. So if we move away from that point of view, and we go back to the albums, again, we can see those albums there. But before we go into any one album, we should have a look at the main settings. We've got offline albums, and of course, offline albums are ones where you have on a download pile that you can synchronize with the NAS and the app. Albums is the one we're in already. Smart albums are when you want to create smart lists and different filtering systems. A lot of this is taken care of on the NAS itself using the Photo Station 6 application, I believe. Um, shared albums, once again, these are photos that you've shared or whole albums that you've shared with other users and you can monitor the ones that you've shared, remove, add as you see fit. Photo backup is quite interesting. This is where if you want to back up, say for example, your mobile device, if you want to back one up, we'll click yes, we want to back this up, and we'll restore the settings on the NAS, we'll carry on from there, and it doesn't restore the whole settings. And these are the albums currently on the NAS, so if we want, we can add uh, a new album, we'll call this album Mobile. We'll make it a public album, and we'll add that to the pile. So there's Mobile there, we'll select Mobile, and that's the one we're going to be using. So if we go back, so that's the backup destination, the backup source. So this is on our local device, our phone. We can back up directly from the standard DCIM folder. That's kind of the default folder most phones use to store photos. Back up individual um, folders or all of them together. If we go to custom, we can actually manually select an individual album that we want to back up. So say we wanted to back up our pictures folder. There we go. Now we can back up new photos from this point onwards or back up all the backlog, all the photos we've done previously, which I assume is what people will do. And of course, you can set it to only back up over Wi Fi rather than use up all your 4G uh, cell internet package. Um, and also, I choose to only back up photos to keep those file sizes nice and small because, let's face it, almost all mobile devices deposit the photos and the videos in the same directory. But that's as straightforward as it is when it comes to backing up individual photos. I'll be honest, it's a shame it lacks the um, take a photo instant backup that Q Photo had from the QNAP NAS. And I'm, I'm looking to see what other um, applications feature that. I think it is featured in moments. But if we make our way back to the albums from before, we can take a look at individual albums. So let's, do you know what, we looked at Ireland, let's zoom into the one for Ireland. This is a wedding that I attended. Uh, lots of pictures of food, because apparently I like food. Um, and what we'll do is we'll look at the pate, shall we? Now, here's our photo. And there's lots of things we can do with it. One, we can get real-time information about the photo, the location of where it was taken. We can put tags on photos. And there's lots of real-time, more techy information on the photos there below as well. What it was taken on and what it was taken with. And there's obviously comments that you can add too. Um, so that's quite a nice feature. If we come out of the photo there, we can go into the list here on the top right, and we can choose to share this um, via a link or social media. So if we um, get a share link, we can create uh, a public share link here, share it with the public, and then boom, this link will now let us share this photo with anyone we want. We click copy, and there it's been copied to the clipboard. And you can add it once again to social media or in a link to people. And you can do that whether it's on a folder or an individual file. Now, if we carry on, we can download the file locally, and that's what I'll do. It's now downloading to my phone. 
Alternatively, we can carry on looking down the list. We can delete it, move it to other directories, start a slideshow, or change the player of the um, photo. So rather than use the app that we're using now, we can then cast this photo to a local network device. Once again, I've got a Kodi player, but you can cast it to other devices. I believe some consoles support this function too. And if we go to the bottom, we can set as an album cover, just like you would on Facebook and more. And that's really it. I mean, we can cycle through these pictures. We can pinch in and out of them. Lovely sorbet there. There's all kinds of stuff we can do if we really want to. And the same thing goes for those albums. So we press and hold on an album, go to the top right, and we can share the whole thing, um, share a copy of it, share a link to it, or add to the shared album directory. So if we add that to the shared album directory... And now it's shared. We can share it with the public. Give it a name. Share one. Sorry if that interferes with the sound quality. And there you are. Now that album is in our shared area. And we can share that folder as we see fit on different platforms as we want. So that's really it for DS Photo. I look forward to showing you the differences between it and Synology's Moments application for mobile. But otherwise, do stay tuned for more applications for NAS available on iOS and Android. And don't forget to subscribe. Cheerio.